still in the package, we have this sterile standard volume fluid transfer tube. So transferring IVs, blood, an entire bag of syringes, not even open. This has been here since 1990. Wow, look at this. These are the tunnels we just had to go through to get into this building. And now we're in. Finally, it took us a while, I got kind of lost. What's up guys? So right now, we're inside a basement of a really, it's kind of a newly abandoned hospital. Doing some research, it was kind of hard to ga gather some factual evidence, but the buildings were sometime abandoned in the 19, I mean built in the 1930s, 1940s, abandoned in the 90s. And I've been here one time to take pictures and this building is completely pristine. No graffiti, uh, minimal vandalism, and there's a ton of cool stuff in here. So let me show you around the basement real quick and we're gonna go up this. This hospital has three floors and I know for a fact there's a autopsy room and maybe a morgue in here so we're gonna have to find that later in the video but let me show you guys what's even on the floor as soon as we come out of the basement we got some x-rays it's gonna be hard to kind of see this it's a bad one x-rays you can see the spine right there it's another spine Oh, you can see like their digestive system in this one. I know you can't really see on the camera, but there's tons of x-rays, so I'm sure we'll be finding more. Here we go. Wow, these are just the hospital records. Look at all this. Look at all these notes. Is there a date on here? 1988-1960. These are all notes of patients, just all left behind. Employee cards. We're not going to show any names because that'd be just disrespectful to the families. Oh wow, look at this. We just found the hospital pharmacy. Wow, look at all this. I would go up and try reaching to see if anything has anything left, but I'm not wearing gloves and all this stuff is could be toxic. You got the pill bottles in storage with the caps. What is in here? Is it a syringe? It's inside of a bag. Can't tell. I'm not going to open it without gloves. Oh, here we go. It looks like a syringe or a needle without the it actual is needle. Blood. Wow, look at all the stuff that's all left behind. So, at the end of this uh, basement, we have this room, very lit up. And what I think it is, it's just a huge storage room. It could have been like a, I don't know what you'd call the man in charge of the hospital, but. This seems like a pretty good office for that. We have tons of books. All hospital records, like I said before. Still in the package, we have this sterile standard volume fluid transfer tube. So transferring IVs, blood, that's what this was used for. All these pressure things. I don't know what they're called, but this place is filled with stuff. Got all the... Wow, these are like baby ones. Check this out. Look how low this is on me. This is not even up to my waist. It's very creepy and it's still stacked in this locker. Like that. I think they still have oxygen in them. Look at 
still in the package. 10 cc syringe. See if there's anything else left on the shelves. Doesn't look like it. An entire bag of syringes, not even opened. This has been here since 1990, so these are probably not sterile at all, so don't use them. <laughs> Oh, well, looks like you found an X-ray room. I knew these were just where they process the X-rays. Huh. It's possible they made a remove the uh, X-ray machine to use it somewhere else, but. I don't see it here. Radiology secretary. So they would throw a bunch of x-rays on this machine. That's so cool. I would take the time to get like eight of them and put them up, but I don't got time for that. Here we have a hydrotherapy tub. You can see right here, you can turn it all hot. Cold, how hot the pressure is, faucet. There's a thermostat right there. So, whenever the patients are acting bad or really acting up, they throw them in here. And with controlled dosages, either make it really cold or really hot, try to reset their psychosis. Programs and activities. So, you can have an idea what these patients went through in their everyday life. There we go. Now, it's starting to look like a hospital. Oh, look at this! Now, this could either be another hydrotherapy tub, or they just use this to wash old patients that couldn't move or whatever. Really interesting, though. Paintings are pretty cool. All in really good condition still. So these are all the, uh, the rooms where the patient stayed. Really interesting. Super creepy. I'm guessing at the end of this hall could have been a waiting room. This from other previous hospitals I've been in, or they would have took the patients out and put them in here just to get a little air out of their room, just to get their bodies working. X ray still litter these halls, just tossed around. No point in showing all of them, they all look the same. Another, another really cool fact that is read up on this place. Uh, the original hospital was only supposed to hold 3,000, had 3,000 beds, and at the peak of this hospital, it had 6,000 patients. So that's multiple people in the same room, possibly contagious, other diseases. So, I mean, these health concerns back then, they really didn't matter, you know? They had to do what they could with the people they had. Apparently, it was for every five patients, there was only one nurse. So those numbers are crazy. I can see why this place closed down. And what we found, yes, we found the operation room. Doesn't have those infamous lights, but you could obviously tell it was one. Oh, wow. That's an interesting, okay.
So we have operation room one, operation room two. In the middle, this is where all the nurses and doctors would clean up. Probably put all their tools in here to get washed. I can't believe, I mean, I can't even imagine how many people were going in and out of this place to get work done to them. Inside some nursing quarters and storage, possible linen would be stored in here. I'm guessing my best bet that there could have been medicine in here based on the lock on this. Besides the beds not being here, this is like like an apocalypse hospital, like people just got up and left. There's even patient names written above the door still. Insanity. No one ever took them down. So a piece of these patients are still in this hospital. It's crazy to see that. Now, if any of you guys explore yourself and you're inside of a building and have no idea what time it closed, these are the best bet you have. You open these little panels up. Don't touch any of this, that could be bad. But you can see the checkup date. You see when this place was last uh, checked on. And it says right here, 86. 1986 was the last time it was checked out. So that's how you tell. This hallway had another tub. Less dirty. This hallway, besides the little paint chips on the ceiling, is in pretty much pristine condition. It's really interesting to see all this. Okay, so no clickbait or anything. We were in the I stopped, the last scene you saw was me on the top floor of the hospital, the third floor, and after that, I was going into the basement, me and my girlfriend, and we were trying to find the autopsy room, because I've seen pictures of it, and it, it looks awesome, and uh, we didn't know where we were going. We just started heading down a tunnel, it was heading uphill, um, it was inclining, and all of a sudden, like you can't see the end of this tunnel, it probably went for a couple hundred feet, and what we heard was like, pipe dragging on the ground like picture that like a metal pipe dragging on the ground and I mean I didn't get it on my camera because I was just too scared we both started running um, we got out of there quick but um thanks for watching <laughs> my heart's pounding uh, come back next week for more exploring videos and I'll see you guys later okay so I don't know if this is because I've been watching um, ghost encounters with Zach Bagans or Baggins whatever his name is but while we're in the hospital I don't believe in the paranormal and I wasn't even gonna put this into the video before I said all this but as we were walking through that very long hallway um, I got the chills she got the chills like just a swooping like it's so hot it's a summer day it's like at least 85 and I was freezing cold and then Less than 10 seconds later, we're in the pitch dark. All I could see is my light. The tunnel only goes straight, and there's an echoing sound of like a pipe dragging across the ground. I thought it was a person down there because there are patients at the psychiatric center that's partially active, and they do go into the buildings. But um, I don't know. She mentioned it could have been something paranormal. I don't necessarily believe in that, but since that just all happened to me, I don't know, I could believe it. Anyway, thanks for listening to me rant. See you guys later.